make it back home. <laughs>
a ferry over to the north side. Realized that we didn't have enough time to grab the big drone. My phone wasn't charged because I thought we were using one's phone to fly it. We didn't have any SD cards for the equipment. So we had to hustle our ride back to the other side of the split there just like slag a boat down I waited <laughs> and then like it's like the, the guy that ferries the boat between that side of the island to this side of the island he was just sleeping he was just sleeping there and so we had like a good Samaritan that brought us on his speedboat which is great because we had a lot of equipment and I feel like we could have flipped over in the canoe and destroyed everything and I just upgraded my equipment from the last video that you guys just saw so we don't want that to happen yeah so now we're gonna go see if we can find my property and also get some drone footage of the north side and we're also gonna be exploring the north side for the first time ever. Ka-ching, ka-ching! Bling, bling, bling! Yeah fam, that was our ferry that we almost used to bring our very, very large, expensive and heavy equipment. Thank goodness we had a good Samaritan fisherman who just drove us over. Yeah man, imagine putting that in a canoe along with the mini drone over here. My this realtor! Expensive, this expensive Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we cannot risk getting her wet, or can we? Or does she want to? <laughs> no, this is a plan, I don't include that. <laughs> We're gonna ask these people if they can take me to see my property because we can't get a boat because the guy we normally get a boat from is washing the bottom of his boat. Let's see if they'll give us a ride. to the very north side of Peacocker. None of the guys are wearing shoes. Two of the guys that drove us here have what we call key foot. But the key foot. Walking out slippers for, for since we was born. Yeah. This is what they call a key foot. <laughs> Your foot is hard. Foot. Not even a nail can go through that. Oh. Solid as a rock. The road on the north side of the island does not extend to my property, so we have to take a boat to get to the beach, and then from the beach, we walk. <laughs> and yeah, it's definitely a journey. It's like a 15 minute walk to get there, which isn't bad, but considering we're carrying all this equipment, the other two guys who do not have island foot or hard feet forgot to bring their slippers because they left it on the golf cart, so they're <laughs> the bottom of their feet keep getting pinched. Yeah, they're <laughs> they forgot their flip flops. Hey, that's all. What's up, Juan? A bit tired. Sweaty. Yeah, that drone is like a real workout, right? Yes. It's like, that is hard. Oh, get buff. That hard, that I remember I mean at an army and just like doing this for like five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And X marks the spot. We found my land. Finally made it to my property. This is my first real estate investment that I've ever made. I know, congratulations to myself. What a big girl. So my vision for this property, you're gonna have to find out because I'm not gonna give away my secrets right now. My dream for this property, it's actually two ideas that do not go well together because one is a health and wellness eco lodge and the second one is to host full moon parties with a Tulum atmosphere with a DJ. It's gonna be like a mashup between a Thailand full moon party and Tulum nightlife. That would be my idea for this place with a really sick boat to take you back and forth between my property and the main village on the south side of Peacocker. The boat would be called Miss Psychedelic Freak. I know, I love that name. I just need $300,000, so, well, more like a million. So if one of you viewers have the money and are ready to invest, just hit me up! Is this your 
bag. Show me a hamaka. Wow, you have a bike and all to my god. This is what Whoa. island living is all about, guys. You're on a hammock and you catch the fish. So from your bed, you can fish for your food. Amazing. Oh no, what's wrong with the boat? Man, he's trying to one. Ah, I hope we can make it back home. I truly hope that we can make it back. Like, I don't know what's happening with the engine. This is so cool. Um, stay tuned. One eternity later. Woo! Yeah! So we just finished looking at my north side properties. Beautiful property. Thank you. We went all the way to the tip. We were surprised to find out that it is actually filled. Natural filled. Naturally filled. The land is pretty high. It's not swampy like I thought it would be. I'm excited to develop it in the future. 